News we have for you regards India's footballing future. You remember FIFA, the International Federation for Football, had suspended the All India Football Federation a few days back on August 15th. Now there's another twist in that row. The centre has filed a fresh application before the Supreme Court. They're asking the Supreme Court to suspend the mandate for a committee of administrators. They've also asked the top court to direct the COA to submit a final constitution of the AIFF by August 23rd. The centre has seeked a day-to-day -day affairs report of the AIFF. They've asked that it be looked after by the AIFF administrators. Now, you remember a little bit of backstory here uh, that it was back in May 18th, so just a few months ago, that you'd had the Supreme Court say that a three member committee of administrators would be set up. One of the members would be a judge. After that, you had uh, FIFA suspend the AIFF. They said they weren't open to what they called third party interference. Now, we'll go over to my colleague Ananya to understand more on this entire story. Ananya, just break down for our audiences what the centre is asking the Supreme Court to do, please. Well, yes, uh, the centre is asking uh, the Supreme Court to, in fact, go away with its direction and the mandate for the appointment of a COA, that is the Committee of Administrators, which was basically tasked to look into uh, uh, of the day-to-day -day affairs of the All India Football Federation, that is the AIFF. And following this COA being uh, appointed to manage the day-to-day -day affairs, the FIFA had in fact suspended the AIFF, uh, that is the All India Football Federation, saying that the third party intervention has led uh, a suspension on uh, in fact, the AIFF and hence uh, which clearly meant that India would not be able to hold, hoist uh, the whole World Cup that had to take place in October from 11th of October to the 31st of October, uh, 30th of October. And uh, now uh, what has happened is two subsequent developments have taken place into this particular matter. First, the center has moved the top court saying that in the interest of the uh, the international relations of the country and in fact the sports of the country and the, or, or the, the young sportsmen, uh, the mandate should go, be gone away with and in fact a general council uh, should take over the management of the AIFF, that is the All India Football Federation, led by its uh, general secretary. Uh, and in fact, uh, another important development that is taking place in this particular matter is that former Indian skipper, football skipper, in fact, uh, uh, Baichung Bhutia has also knocked the doors of the, uh, the Supreme Court, uh, filing an intervention application into this particular matter, clearly saying that the draft constitution that has been prepared by the COA for the AIFF shall be taken into account. There is a 36 member general council that uh, should operate and the elections should continue uh, as soon as possible. In fact, he also goes on to say that in order to lift this ban particularly um, that has been levied on uh, the AIFF by FIFA, this is the best possible way that the new constitution is adopted and not only uh, this constitution is beneficial for um, removing and revoking a suspension of uh, the AIFF by the FIFA but is also very very beneficial because this new general council would give uh, equal representation to players with a voting right at the GC would also give them a platform to voice their concern and in fact give out also a platform to uh, address these concerns and to solve them also. So uh, two subsequent developments taking place uh, the Supreme Court bench headed by Justice D.Y. Chandrachur would be hearing this matter today and uh, apart from that it would also be hearing a similar matter with regards to the Indian Olympic Association wherein the IO had challenged an order of the Delhi High Court fearing that a similar stage would happen with him uh, where the International Council for Olympics that is the ICO would suspend the IOA because a COA was also appointed. Remember that the same judges, Justice uh, Dave, uh, retired Supreme Court judge was heading both of these uh, COAs that were looking into the affairs of the AIFF and also of uh, the Indian Olympic Association. So both the matters to be heard by the top court today. We'll have to wait and watch as to whether the Supreme Court accepts the center's uh, uh, application and says that um, the committee of administrators has to go just like it has uh, in fact in the matter of the IOA has restricted uh, for the time being the implementation of the COA taking over uh, the affairs of the IOA. But now we'll have to wait and watch as to what happens uh, to uh, the AIFF because uh, it is very, very persistent to note that this would decide whether India would be able to uh, hold the World Cup uh, in October or not. Of course. Oh, yeah. Ananya, thank you so much for bringing our audiences all of that context. Right now, we do have some more.